Sturdy Valley does a great job of slowly introducing new mechanics as you complete the community center and get further into the game. But eventually, there is so much to do that you might start to feel overwhelmed. That's when you know you've hit the mid-game. In this video, I'll be giving you some simple mid-game tips to help you succeed in the mid-game and reach the sweet, sweet end game. Okay, let's get started. Time is money. Once you have completed your first year, gotten the greenhouse, bought the barn and the coop, and even found some star drops, you'll soon see that there is not enough time in the day to do everything. You have to do all the farming, ranching, mining, and even fishing so your day will quickly run out. So make sure to upgrade your tools. With upgraded tools, you'll be able to water in a massive area. This can make watering and hoeing the soil much easier and less cumbersome. And if you're a busy, busy farmer, you can drink coffee to allow you to run around the world faster. Coffee is pretty easy to get, but you can always buy it from the saloon. If you really want to race around the world of Stardew, get yourself a stable and a horse. You'll be able to run around at high speeds. In the early game, the biggest blocker is energy, but as you reach mid-game, your biggest blocker is time. Animals are really fun and profitable in Stardew Valley, but you need to feed them and pet them every day. Once you have some extra money, get an order grabber. This will save you tons of time, especially with milking the cows and shearing your sheep. And if you fully upgrade your barn and coop, they auto feed your animals too, an added bonus. Remember you can place all kinds of things inside of your barn and coop. Here I have a chest and a couple of cheese presses right next to my order grabber. This means I can grab all the milk and instantly drop it in the cheese maker and then deposit it all in the chest right there. Stay organized. Early on in the game, you usually find yourself making a chest as you need it and placing it randomly around your farm. As you get more items and chests, you'll struggle finding the specific item you need. So I have an entire shed dedicated to all my chests. Now in hindsight, I would add sides behind each chest to indicate what it's supposed to be in the chest, making it easier to find stuff. Greenhouse. Once you have completed the bundle, and unlock the greenhouse. And if you're lucky enough to have gotten an ancient seed, start as soon as possible with creating your ancient fruit empire. Even with just a single ancient fruit seed, you will eventually fill up your entire greenhouse with ancient fruit. Ancient fruit take 28 days before they start producing any crops, but they regrow every seven days. So in the beginning, you'll grow your ancient fruit supply pretty slowly. Just plant your ancient fruit seeds and wait 28 days and as soon as it produces some ancient fruit, drop them in a seed maker. You will sometimes get more than one seed at a time, but it will take a while. So patiently build up your ancient fruit farm. The great thing about the greenhouse is, these ancient fruit crops will grow forever as long as you keep them watered. Also remember to plant some fruit trees in your greenhouse. It will save you plenty of space on your farm and they will still give fruit during winter. Get Iridium Sprinklers. Trust me, you'll have so much to do that you won't have any time to water crops. So get in the skull cavern on good luck days, bring some bombs and get as deep as you can to collect that sweet, sweet Iridium ore. For batteries, I recommend placing at least 5 lightning rods, if not more. Trust me, for your mega farm, you'll need plenty of these for your sprinklers. And if you don't have the time to collect the resources to make your own iridium sprinklers, remember every Friday you can buy a iridium sprinkler from Krobus at the sewer for 10,000 gold. It's expensive but worth the convenience. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully some of these tips helped you out. I know when I started getting to the mid-game, I was kind of flustered on what's important to do and what to leave, but you can do it all if you're efficient. If you like this video, subscribe. I try to upload a video every day, but for now, until next time.